Welcome to part two. This video follows my review of the design of this. This is the power coupler, or not power coupler. What am I, what am I saying? I am tired. Uh, it's way too early in the morning right now. Seriously. Um, I just couldn't sleep. I don't know. So tired, but can't sleep. Anyway, thought I'd build and think and pray and work. Aura et Labora. Um, so these are the power functions pickups. You basically plug it in to another motor, uh, ideally a power functions um, train motor. And then when power is supplied like this to the old nine volt rails, train track, the uh, from a speed regulator as shown here, um, then uh, yeah, when, when power is supplied to the tracks, power is then flows through these wheels and through the wiring that has been done here. And this is by Bevins Briggs, modified some custom, you know, lathed metal and all that. Anyway, he has a video on how to, how he did it. And these are for sale. I don't know if they're in stock though. Um, let's put it this way, they sold out fast. Anyway, but for when they get in stock, just so you know how they work and all that. Uh, the, uh, I'm talking in circles, aren't I? But you plug in a power functions motor or light or whatever, and it powers it. So it saves you batteries. And uh, a technique I learned is if you don't have enough nine volt track or if you wanna make your own, Pasta Jensen shows this on his YouTube channel. I think it's on his YouTube channel, or maybe he just sent the video in the Discord. Uh, I don't remember. But anyway, uh, he used copper tape for some of his track because the 9 volt is very expensive. 9 volt track. So, anyways, um, these are the uh, train contacts are starting to disintegrate, but we'll just make do with what we have here. And I gotta rewire them anyway. I'm actually going to put a really long wire between the two contacts, which you're not supposed to do, but I'm going to do it because I have an idea and I want to try it and I can't do it with a short wire, but that is later. So we're just going to take a micro motor and plug it in because a motor is a motor, right? And so uh, this should work with lights or motors or whatever. Now let's plug it in. So this is now plugged into the regulator and we're going to dial it up okay this is going to be contacting the rails these are contacting the rails so the power is being supplied from the power supply to here to the rails to this through here to this motor okay so let's fire it up and see what happens Pretty cool, right? So it does work. Um, I noticed some, uh, there was something earlier. Let's see if it'll do it again. So it definitely doesn't like being picked up, obviously doing this breaks the circuit, so, or disconnects the circuit, so, but it doesn't like the connection between these two far wheels. These two wheels are directly connected to this power function's wire, but these two wheels are soldered, and for some reason it doesn't get very good contact through those two wheels. 
I don't know if that's a one-off thing or, or what. It seems to work really well with this, these two on the back end. And it works even better when all four. Now, it's supposed to be all four. But the reason for four is so that it can straddle the switches when it goes over. But either way, there's something weird about it. You know, not wanting to... Now, something to keep in mind here, there are a lot of variables. The track could be tarnished, it could have a stain on it, it could have bad contact on the track. I do have a short in here. Now, I've separated the wires, it's not inside, it's on the outside, you can... I've got too many projects on this desk. You can see this wire is completely exposed. So that could very well be the issue, but it is odd to me because this wasn't moving. This was what was moving. And so it doesn't really, my best guess is that these two wheels don't really get a very good connection. Now that could be due to a lot of factors. In my previous video, I separated the plates and I did it a couple times off camera too. Very carefully, but removing them because I wanted to see if it was glued and it's not. And so that means that I can custom build a bogey, uh, full bogey the way I want. But yeah, there's a, there's a few things that, yeah, there's a few problems that I have with this. There, uh, that's, that's one. It doesn't get very good contact through these two wheels. Now, again, I don't know if I pull the wire out a little bit. That could very well be the case. It could be a user error. I don't know. I don't have a way of knowing. I don't know enough about how it's made really to make my own repairs. Another thing that I don't want, or I don't, uh, or it really doesn't matter, but I don't know. I kind of like the idea that these would be spaced out more or could be. But because of the shorter wires, I thought about this uh, just a minute ago, actually, while filming this. These wires are so short, and they, they kind of have to be. I'm not sure how it would be done otherwise, but I don't know. Um, excuse me. I, I don't know how you would do it, but spacing them out. Let me grab something real quick. I'm gonna disconnect the regulator there. Uh, yeah, okay. So we have here this uh, nine volt motor. An official nine volt motor. This is Lego unmodified, and you know it should run. Let's uh, let's go ahead and supply power to it. I don't know. Yeah. You know. Um, so, you know, that's how that normally works. So this being a pickup, allowing power functions motors to move, that's pretty cool. But this spacing is what I'm used to. Now this spacing is nice for some things, but it would be nice to, honestly, it would be nice to be able to do, I know he doesn't want to do it, but I would still prefer buying two singles for you know, I would think that one single would be a little more than half the price of a double.
but maybe not. I don't know. That's my speculation based on, you know, if, if I were doing it, but I'm not. So I don't know what he would charge for that for a single versus a double, but, um, or maybe the double would be less expensive. I'm not sure. It just seems like more work or maybe it's just different. I'm not sure how he'll do it, but I would like him to come out with the second, with, with the two options, with, with this option where it's two together like this, that's fine, whatever. But having two singles and then just plugging them in, I don't mind stacking these inside my train. I don't mind stacking plugs. And the reason that I would want two singles is so that I can match this spacing here. And I mean, I don't know, maybe that's just me, but I doubt it. I'm sure that, that somebody would want that. Um, but anyways. Anyway, uh, so that's that's my honest review. Now, do I like it? Yeah, I do. I do. I think it's going to work for my purposes. Uh, I would have preferred, I think, two singles uh, for some purposes. But for the purpose that I have uh, plans for, um, I do plan to run a micromotor through it. Uh, I think the double works perfectly for that. So, I don't know. Well, maybe not perfectly. <laughs> and again, that's... Again, there's a lot of variables here. I could just have a bad wire. I don't know. But, anyway. I hope this helps you uh, making decisions on whether or not to get one from Bevan's Bricks or whatever. Uh, but yeah, that's my honest review for this. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get some rest, I think. I think I can fall asleep now, so that's good. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, and... There's more content coming, guys. It's not just reviews and, you know, the, I'm, I'm, I'm building, which is, yeah, that's taking most of my time for the Lego stuff is building and that's, it's fun. But yeah, I plan to film a lot of what I've been building. Um, a little sneak peek. I've got this tower and it's got those light shades on it and that's because it's actually a moonlight tower from Austin, Texas and I am going to build the whole thing. It's going to be almost five feet tall, maybe just over five feet. So that's exciting. That's my plan this weekend to get that going. So just a sneak peek on that. But thanks for watching and yeah, just stay tuned for more content. No, have a good weekend.